So now that you saw that video where it sounds like this thing is a high powered rifle, let me show you what it really sounds like. What's up guys? It's um it's in the mood to, to ramble a bit. You know, all the discussions going on in the world today about guns and whatnot, you know, people, they always think, you know, why do people need guns? Why do people want an AR-15 like it's some monster to own or something? Um, and like I'm sitting here with this air rifle right now, perfectly capable of taking another human life. Um, there are high caliber air rifles out there that are fully automatic um, that I could you know that people could do harm with but at the end of the day it's like it's the person it's the measure of a person and you know there's this argument out there of, um, well what if the bad people get the guns well yeah we all agree that's that's the thing what if the bad people get the guns um, what if the bad people get the guns and there are no good people with guns, right? And you may think, well, that's never going to happen. Look at history. You know, whoever has the guns makes the rules. And you think about that and you may think that's like, you no, know, nah, that's not how it could be. But it is how it is. I mean, if the government disarms everyone, then the government just tells everyone what to do. What are you going to do? Show up with frying pans and... And, and sticks to a, to a protest to overthrow the government. That's never happened. What would you have to do? You would have to become a criminal and you would have to do the same thing that's still gonna be available even if you take away all the guns. And you would have to find guns on the black market and become a criminal to overthrow the government. No one wants that. No one wants to be a criminal. No one wants, no one I know in the gun community wants to take another life. No one I know that conceal carries every day, every day carries, trains, and loves guns, right? No one I know that does what I do, goes to a shooting range and practices, and none of those people want to hurt another human being ever. But the thing is, it's like, you know, you know, what's the saying? If you want peace, prepare for war. Because there's always gonna be someone, there's always a tyrant. There's always a person. There's always, you know, I don't really, I'm not into guns thinking that on, a, on any given day I may need to use, you know, I may need to pull my sidearm to protect myself and someone else in, at Walmart. I, I prepare for that, but do I, what's the chances of that happening? It depends on where I am, technically, but it's slow, it's slim. Um, you know, and then we have the media pushing uh, narratives. Um, honestly, we even have like NRA and, and gun manufacturers uh, pushing fear on people. I don't. I don't. I don't support guns in a in a total sense of fear. I see it as preparedness. Um, you know, I've always tried to teach my kids about. You know, yes, there's there's evil in the world, but the the power lies in understanding that there is evil in the world and making your decisions based off that. Don't really do it out of fear, do it out of preparedness. If you're prepared and you know what to expect and you know what's coming, you're prepared, you're ready. It takes the, uh, it takes the fear completely out of it. I don't, I don't do anything out of desperation because whatever happens, I kind of expected it and I'm, I'm semi-prepared for it. It's, it's, like, it's like no different than like a hurricane, right? We're, we're so used to hurricanes here in the South. Um, when I was younger, 
hurricanes were a huge deal, but I never really understood um, what my dad was trying to teach me of preparedness, right? When a hurricane would come, it's like, no, don't freak out. We've made preparations. We have things to do and places to go. Um, I, I, I take it far beyond what my dad did. Like I have generators, I have, and, and when a hurricane is in the Gulf, um, I don't freak out at all, honestly. I usually, they usually sneak up on me because I'm not so scared of them that when hurricane season comes, I'm pinned to the weather channel. It's a, it's a sense of preparedness, not a sense of fear. Um, and that's the idea. It's the idea with guns, too. You know, when a hurricane does come now, I watch the news. I see where it's going and what it's going to do and say, okay. And I make an assessment of what I need to do based off of it. But it's never out of, a, um, it's never out of fear. It's never out of desperation. I don't go running for the hills. No. I just look. Yeah, it's um, even if it was a Category 5 headed to where I am. I don't live in a place where that's going to be so totally devastating. Um, the freeze in Houston last year, scary thing, big deal. My same preparation for hurricanes kind of kicked in. The only difference was adding heat to the equation. We had to stay warm. Um, so what did we do? We used our generator power and our electric heaters that we had. We had fuel. We were ready. There was no freak out. We made it through that. People, that was devastating for some people. but. We were prepared on a level, not out of fear, not out of desperation, but just out of preparedness. We were prepared for it. We were prepared for what was to come. Guns are the same concept. I don't want to shoot anybody, ever. I don't ever want to fire that generator up. I don't ever want to drink all that water. I don't ever, <laughs> you know, some of the food we have on the shelf, I don't ever want to crack that can open, but it's there. And if I need it, it's ready. Um, guns are the same thing. We have it. We train with it. Um, you know, before hurricane season, I always go fire up the generator, make sure it works, um, you know, change the oil, whatever I need to do. Guns are the same way. I pull them out, pull them out periodically. I wipe them off, I wipe them down. I, I do the, the routine maintenance on it and um, go to the range, shoot them, fire a few down range, clean it, put it back up call it good um, like right now I'm, I'm in I'm in training mode because I haven't had time to do that lately so I'm using my air rifle which is a simulation of my real rifle um, to sit here and throw lead down range which is only 25 yards at the moment but regardless I'm here and I'm doing it and I'm I'm practicing holds and I'm practicing trigger groups I'm practicing my breathing and uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing some of these shots standing. Um, I've done some from the prone position, the laying down position. You know, just, just out here in the backyard having fun, shooting at a target. But at the same time, I'm, I'm training if I were to grab uh, the other one. Um, it would be no different. It's got a very similar optic. It's got a very similar setup. Um, I could just snatch it up and go. And all of my muscle memory would kick in. So it's not out of fear. I don't, I don't ever want to shoot anybody. I actually just like um, shooting at this target. But then that brings me to another side of this. Why, why do people need guns? This is, uh, there's, there's, a, there's only a couple things in life that, I, that have ever been completely therapeutic to me. When I say therapeutic, I mean just it, it calms my soul and calms my spirit. Um, and one is music. Playing music does that to me. I'm a musician, been been that for a long time. If you don't know me very well, um, the other is shooting, and uh, it literally because you have to control your breathing and you have to to relax. You have to force yourself to relax. Uh, there's something about it that um, draws me back to it like I can't believe I haven't done this in so long because it's almost like I forgot how much I enjoy this and uh, well, like right now it's a, it's a stressful time in my life and I pulled this thing out my wife went on a trip kind of bacheloring it this week I was like you know what you know these kind of things kind of make her nervous at times um, so I pulled it out and uh, plus I ordered some new gear why not but I forgot how awesome it is to just sit out here and kind of dial it in, right, and, and get it just, just right, and just relax, and you pull that trigger, and you send it, 
and it hits and it hits right where you expected it to and then you realize you know it's like a game you realize that if you just like nonchalantly just throw down and pull the trigger that's not the case it kind of goes wherever so it's it's a game of controlling your body because you're the you're the uh, you're the variable that, that's changing every millisecond every breath you take it's a movement and um, just controlling that it actually just calms my brain and relaxes my brain it's pretty intense um, anyway but that's why that's why we like it um, I would I would probably liken shooting target shooting to me is like some folks play basketball right they just get out there by themselves and they just shoot hoops and um, I could see where that would be a somewhat like that right you just sit there and, and you just practice your shot um, I used to shoot bows uh, archery archery is another another thing that that does the same thing right I remember having to control my breathing and control myself and get in the proper positioning make sure you know where you where you lock your hand every time get consistent about how you do it it was another thing that that really calmed me and relaxed me and I can't find I can't find anything outside of shooting targets that does that to me that just totally just chills me out and hits that switch in my brain and just just brings my stress level down um, like right now just talking to you like I feel I'm relaxed I'm, I'm laid back and just in chill mode but that's my two reasons right preparedness and it's therapeutic it's just what I do it's what I like to do one of the many things I am a uh, I've been called recently I was <clears throat> I was called a renaissance man right I'm a man of many talents and a man of many hobbies and uh, this is one of the top uh, one that I love more than anything uh, fishing is another one realized that the I was re-watching the video and realized it cut out what I was saying was fishing is another one but I'm not as good as it good at it <laughs> as I am shooting um, so I just want to close out um, thanks for listening to me ramble um, I know I, I probably ummed a lot but honestly just speak in my mind and a lot of times we just stay quiet and silent about these things and honestly it's stuff that needs to be said. It needs to be said out loud. So, um, from the time I was videoing before, I made myself dinner. Some hot wings. Uh, but yeah, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be understood um, what, what this stuff really means. And that just because you own a gun or you enjoy shooting guns doesn't mean you're a monster. You know what I mean? Honestly. There are plenty of monsters out there, and uh, none that I know that enjoy guns are monsters. They may be a little weird, they may be quirky, but all in all, they're good folks, and I uh, really just want to help people. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending time with me today. We'll talk to you later.